And uh, I like it. I like the fact that they got James Earl Jones. And at 91 years old, James Earl Jones still got it. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Whole Views. And today we're going to be discussing Obi Wan Part 3 on Disney Plus. Subscribe to the channel if you like reactions and reviews because that tends to be what we do here on the channel. Sometimes we'll throw out other type of projects, we'll throw out interviews and things like that. Go ahead and like those if you like those as well. Be a part of the conversation. Drop me a comment. What do you think stood out from this episode of Obi Wan? I have three things that I feel like really stood out. So let's get into the first one. So this episode was amazing to me. I thought it was very, very good. I enjoyed many, many aspects of the episode, but after it was over, I immediately asked myself, how many more of these do we have? Do you all realize that we are halfway done with the series already? I feel like that's way too fast. I feel like Disney Plus needs to look at Netflix and take from their model of extending some of these episodes with some of their more popular series. We know Obi-Wan broke records uh, at its premiere, but the premiere dropped two episodes. We're already halfway through the story, which is just way too much, way too fast. Uh, and I would like to get more uh, from what we're seeing because what we're seeing is so good. Second part that I feel like is worth mentioning is Lord Vader. Darth Vader is way more menacing here than he ever has been on screen. And I feel like each time he appears on screen, he becomes more and more menacing. Now, I need to preference my whole opinion and all my thoughts on Vader with this. I am not a comic book reader. I have seen a few things from the comics, like on Twitter and things like that, but I have never actually seen uh, a full Star Wars comic. So I don't have any kind of uh, comic book knowledge. I've never read a Star Wars novel. Everything that I know about Vader is what I've seen on screen. And just like Boba Fett, Darth Vader was a villain who gained a large following and a lot of notoriety, but I never understood why people gravitated so much toward him. He was relatively unimpressive in the original trilogy. But then you get the prequels and you get some backstory and you, you learn and then you get the, the sequel stuff and the one that I'm really thinking of is Rogue One. You get that hallway scene and he was just, just slicing people up and force choking people. It was amazing, right? Here we get him being super ruthless just as much and choking out individuals, snapping necks like it's nothing. That was great to see from his character, like showing the menace that is Darth Vader, showing how ruthless he was showing how strong with the force that he was to kind of fling Obi-Wan around. It was, it was very good to see. And again, the ruthlessness, you set me on fire, you messed me up, I'm gonna mess you up. It was very cool to see Vader go as far as he went. And uh, I like it. I like the fact that they got James Earl Jones and at 91 years old, James Earl Jones still got it. I really enjoyed that, uh, seeing him and hearing him uh, do the voice and Vader just be a menace like he was here. Third thing to mention and the last part that I feel like is important to mention is Reva. So everyone had their reactions and their thoughts about Reva uh, upon the premiere. And I, again, I'm one of the people who's like, I know she's one note. I know she's supposed to be cruel and harsh and intense and she's doing all that fine. I thought she did a fine job with the first two episodes. And this third episode is coming across pretty much the same way, but we're learning more about her character and she has some ulterior motives. Uh, Vader knows about those motives and he knows what she ultimately wants. Uh, me, as a person who doesn't dive deep into the lore, I don't know what it is she wants. I'll have to see it as it's revealed in the show. But I will say this, with the Reva character, she came off like she did in the first two episodes for a reason. And we're gonna see that reason unfold as we watch more and more episodes. I'm glad that's happening because we're gonna see the layers that this actress can actually achieve when you give her some time to cook. Uh, I will also say that I think people who kind of criticized her in the first few episodes will have to eat those words by the time we get to the end. I, not saying she's gonna be a likable character, but I do feel like you're gonna see all her actions and her ways be justified by the time you get to the end of this series. At least I hope so. I hope they just didn't make her a butt 
just to be a butt. You know what I'm saying? My prediction for Reva is very simple, even though it's probably not even considered a real prediction because it's so obvious. I think her ambition is going to be the thing that brings her down in the end. It's kind of foreshadowed in this episode here. Like she's after something and she's willing to do whatever to get it. Uh, it's just, I think she's gonna pursue just a bit too hard and it's gonna be what separates her from existence. Uh, Vader's gonna end up probably silencing her because she pushes too hard and messes something up. So that's, it's probably not even a hot take or a bold prediction, but that's where I think her character is going. And I think you'll see her motivations and it'll be maybe not be sympathetic, but at least it'll be understandable uh, by the time we get to the end of the show. So those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts about Obi-Wan part three in the comment section, please. Enjoy yourself, guard your heart, and go watch something good.